Hey guys, it's Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. Today, you guys, today is you and me, a glue gun and a candle. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Back to another tutorial right here. Hello, you're lovely. No, hi, how you doing? Um, apparently, I'm on a gift kick because I think when this goes live, the one before was a book stack, maybe. I think, pretty sure. Say, we're gonna take a candle, and I mean, it's a lovely gift on its own, but you can like customize this. I'm gonna blow your mind. That's what I'm gonna do. So, we're not even gonna like tiptoe around this. Blow your mind. <laughs> All right, I don't know what's wrong with me. Let's jump into the tutorial. For this tutorial, you're going to need a candle with a lid. That is the most important part of this whole thing. Otherwise, you can also use like a candy jar or something. You need a lid for this to work. A wood circle. This is not necessary, but for the technique I'm going to show you, we're going to use this to our advantage. I'll talk about some of the other things that you can do with this and something else besides a wood circle further into the tutorial. Is the suspense killing you? Is it? All right, we also are going to need bits and bobs of filler. I have some natural preserved dyed fillers. There is um, bunny tails, sesame bloom, and Broom Bloom. That one's a really hard one to say, Broom Bloom. In various colors. Can you tell the theme? <laughs> the candle happens to be coconut, pumpkin, macaroons. D can you see the theme? And we also have bits and bobs of artificial filler in the color story of your choosing. And then of course, Sola Wood Flowers. I have, oh gosh, I forgot the name of this one. Am I? latte vanilla chai I can't remember it's got a cute little bark center and then the cream flower is all crinkled like uh, carnation super cute I have some hydrangeas that have been taken apart and dyed some sunflowers and a miss ivy and if it's out of stock at the time that you're watching this video it'll be back in stock soon I'm sorry I know 2021, let me tell you, I have a story or two to tell if you'd want to listen, you don't, it's no fun. Okay, <laughs> let's jump into the tutorial. So this little circle is gonna get put onto here. Now, if you don't wanna use a wood circle, you can glue directly to the top. You can put a little bit of chicken wire um, strategically glued onto the top and use it as a, like a, what's the word? Uh, like a, a cloche? No. Like a frog. A wire frog. The frog? Oh, I forget all these terms. Also, you could glue a little bit of green floral foam. Oh, yeah, those are the options. And if you come up with something else, too, let me know. A pool noodle would probably work, too. But for this one, for this particular tutorial, we're just gonna use this. And I know, it's like flat, and you're like nervous. Do you not trust me yet? Just trust me. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Let's get to this. It's gonna be okay. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is uh, cover my little circle. Uh, you do have a decent, like, it can go out a little bit, right? And we are gonna get some dimension and height in there. And I'm going to tell you, now listen to me very closely. Okay, are you listening? Listen. Listen, Linda. <laughs> Oh crap, I'm in trouble. Just, it's gonna look really messy at first. Like really, really high, really, really messy. And you're gonna be like, it cannot turn into something great. It will, just, you gotta trust the process. Okay, enough of me diving underneath the table to talk to you. We're just gonna start gluing and watch the hot mess turn into a masterpiece by the end.
really gonna prove to you that it looks like a hot mess at first and then it becomes something magical. Because <laughs> that's looking like a hot mess. <laughs> I know, I can feel your judgment. I can feel your judgment <laughs> through the screen. Oh, you gotta trust me here. It's gonna come together. I know it. Okay, so we are where we're at. Oh, oh, one piece isn't glued in. I can feel it lifting. This is where we're at. I, I know. Just this, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. But I'm gonna go take a little break because I have a kid in summer school and she needs to hop on a Zoom class. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll come back and then we'll add in the flowers and then we'll do the other uh, preserved filler bits at the end. We're gonna do that to the at the end to put it all together, okay? So break, I'll be back in like, just like that. All right, I'm back. So this is fully cooled and is ready to get flowers all over it. Vikram is warmed back up. I have more iced coffee. All is good in the world. Let's put some flowers on this and we're getting closer to it being done. I am going to leave the stems on, you can, and I say this and then I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna pop one up. You can also, if you've already glued a flower onto a stem and you wanna reuse it, uh, you, you can. With just a little bit of uh, muscle, you can just pop it right off. But I'm not going to yet, just in case, I wanna keep them all on stems. And if I decide I don't want them on a stem, then I'll pop one off and show you how to do that. A lot of the time with these, I will do three, groups of three flowers. I am gonna do groups of three with these larger ones and then I'm gonna fill in with the hydrangeas. I might add that one other sunflower that I have. I'm not sure yet. Keeping these on the stem though is gonna give me some heights more so than if I had them um, just gluing the flowers straight onto the rest of the greenery. And whoops, I lost some of that, but I'm just gonna slide that in there. Oops, it's okay, you can lose a petal. It's not the end of the world, I promise.
little fancy cat. So now we're just gonna put some glue. Fancy had it. <laughs> You can also use E6000 for this part if you want instead of hot glue because this is going to be hot so you're going to want to, once it's on there, like, I'm actually going to purposely use one side is a little less, like, it's kind of caved in and so then you can still see the, the, um, the name of the candle, like the scent. So that's what I'm going to use, but obviously this can get switched around so easily. So we're going to let that sit completely until it's nice and done. This one's a little extra extra. We might have won a little extra extra. <laughs> oh, whoops. I did it again. There you guys have it. One of the many ways to make a candle topper, jar topper, whatever you want to call it, topper if you will. Wow. I told you though, right? It looks kind of scary at first. Now if you wanted something that's um, easy, like much even rounder or taller, uh, a little bit of floral foam, glue it onto the lid and then build up from that, we'll get you there. Um, we've done that before. I can't remember which live it was. We had one live on Facebook that, um, yeah, we had to film it like four times in a row in one night because of glitches. And so it's not a fun one to watch. Well, it's fun because it's just chaotic, but you know, it's very hard to learn anything because I, by the fourth time, I might have already been drinking by that point on that live, most likely. But there's quite a few of them that we've done in the past. So if you're interested in the links to those, just leave me a comment below and I will get you the links to the Facebook. Oh, dude, you weren't glued in all the way. We're gonna just snuggle you in there. You're gonna, you're gonna snuggle in there and I'll glue you in a minute. Um, also, a quick little tip, if you have lots of those what I like to call spider webs, once this is fully like dried, cured, or whatever you want to say, the glue is kind of settled, just um, hit it with a little bit of um, a, that wasn't, that's a really bad um, hand gesture, a blow dryer. <laughs> air dryer it's not an air dryer a blow dryer put a little bit of heat on it and all those little wispy little pieces of glue will just melt away so there's a little tip for you as well I think we've talked about that in the past all right if you have any questions like always drop them below in the comments I will answer those as soon as possible if you're new around here want to try out the flowers do you know that we have flowers we do we have 150 plus different style flowers along with craft supplies and greenery, go to oyourlovely.com and use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. Also, give us a like, subscribe if you like these videos. We go, um, I said we're, we go live. We do go live over on Facebook. You would think after over 100 of these videos, I would know what to do at the end, and I don't. I fumble all over my words. But if, if you enjoy that, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. And I think that's everything, but I put it all out of order. So hopefully I got everything that uh, needed to be said at the end of said tutorial. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you super soon. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.